Here we go again. Here we go again. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another week of Dan Lee and their RV tours and reviews. This week, we're heading to Miles Standish State Forest. So go grab a beer and meet me back here, and let's get this party started. Are you kidding me? He did it again. Look at that. Right on the water. We are in Massachusetts at Miles Standish State Park. Did I say it right? Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. I feel like I'm in a like a Photoshop or a green screen behind me. That is amazing right here. Look at that. Yay! But there's a fire ban. And they have this really nice grill. We've got a scrumptious steak to make, and I guess we're not cooking it on that thing. Propane only. As you could just feel the, mm, the sun on your face, and the water, the fish, the this campground has a little piece of things we like from several different camp campgrounds. So this is like a top on Dean Lee's list. My goodness. I could just stand here all day. There's like a million fish. Very nice. Trails and trails and trails. Can't wait to show you guys this place. Stay tuned. Before we get started, let me show you guys the most amazing campsite we've come across this season. Hey, look at this. Take a look at the view we had all week. You guys jealous yet? Oh. So there's a sh shite load of trails around here. Um, and then there's like a street, a road system. Um, and they're all marked. I don't know if they're for four wheelers, snowmobiles. I'm not sure. I haven't looked that far into anything yet. But make sure you grab a map when you come here. There's several different maps. Um, try to grab as many as you can. We just went and started taking these dirt roads. And now we're ending up at a pond or lake. I don't know which one this is. But guys, this place, it's the biggest park we've ever been to for starters. And it's definitely one of the most beautiful. All right, what you're looking at now is Barrett Pond. This is the pond that we're on. We're directly across, right there where that beach is. There's over 50 of these ponds, and this is the second smallest here, if that gives you an idea of how big this place is. Holy crap, we gotta turn around. Man, you know, the maps aren't distant accordingly. They show a road, they show the name of the road but they don't show how long that road is. And we've been on this one for over 40 minutes. We're turning back around. But it's weird because there's beet sand. And you'd imagine that uh, there'd be some water near besides the pond we were just at. Uh, not so far. But time to turn around, head back and see what else we can get into. Well, look how beautiful it is though, guys. Man, what does that look like to you guys? <laughs> Put it in the comments. There we go, guys. After walking around two miles, we popped out at an amphitheater, and then to our right is a building where you can go see what that is, but you can tell this amphitheater 
has been neglected, negated for quite some time, and uh, I could imagine what it used to be if you can put your imagination cap on. Imagine how cool this was back in the day. Look at this map, guys. Do you understand why I'm telling you this place is so huge? We are down here. So this is what we've been showing you. Now we worked our way to here. We have to show you all this somehow within four and a half days. I mean, look guys, this is the biggest campground we've ever been to or seen. And yeah, how big this map is. yeah, really look at that. And then, I mean, even down here guys, to the bottom of the freaking thing. This is one of the biggest portions of the campground. This is the equestrian area. Um, Charge Lake, which is a major lake here, and Fairing Lake. So uh, all these yellow portions are the camping areas. I mean, guys, it's here's where we are. All the way up here, it is absolutely unreal. And we showed you today, we were on roads. We were down in here. Yep, here's Jessup. We were walking this road today, and then ended up cutting this way and showed you... Um, what the pond there look like but guys yeah fire tower so that's way past this that's way yeah, further than 1.7 miles like i said earlier there's no mileage if you notice they just say what poconecet road they don't tell you how long that road is so you can be walking on poconecet road for five ten freaking miles um so it's tough but we're going to try to show you everything we can guys let me back up one more time and hopefully you can get adjust of how big this freaking campground is All right guys now look at this one as you can see this is on a total different path do you guys see what i see do you see what i see holy shit! man guys this trail system it's it's hit or miss but it is extremely Extensive. You, you really can't tell where you're headed until you get there. The maps are, this is just wild. We don't even know where we're headed now. We're trying to get to the lake, the reservoir. We've been trying for two days. We were turned around by an employee. Another employee didn't even know how to get there. Literally, and I, crap you not. So now we took it upon ourselves as we found a trail and we're on it now. This is day two. We've been at this for hours. And this one looks like we might finally get there. Otherwise, we have to jump in Betty and drive. And that means taking everything down, breaking down camp to get in, drive around, come on. It's just not worth it. I'd rather walk, and stay in shape, and yeah, this is nice though. So we were by the lake, and then it turned right and sent us back into the middle of the forest and look at this shot look how extensive this forest is it's nothing but forest with a crap load of lakes so now we just got spit back out to the center of the forest when we we're just at the edge of the lake it's like a nightmare you can't get where you're trying to get it's like pretty frustrating this place has given us a little bit of everything. I think it's one of the reasons we really like it here. We got our hiking, we got water, a water site, state forest. It's a good one, guys.
get many nights like this, guys. Perfectly clear sky. Half moon. Still water besides the fish and frogs that are jumping around and have caught Lee's attention. Reflection of the moon in the water as the sun goes down. This is life. This is what I strive for. I know everybody has their things that they look forward to and pursue. But for me, the past two years after losing my mother, this is it. And it's almost like she wrap this up in a pretty little box and sat it on our laps as we started this for her and she passed before we were able to take our first trip but me and Lee kept it going and this is why we're on the road I don't want to be laying in the bed staring up at the lights in the hospital with regret. I wish I would have. Why didn't I? I don't want those moments. I don't want regret. Of course, I'll be scared, but I won't have regrets. side door guys huh. and see the chairs there Lee's been sitting there feeding the fish all morning and this little lady's been hanging out people watching is great if you like bike trails they are paved and it goes for miles and it's scenic there's lakes and there's a fire tower there's ponds i mean it's really you name pretty it, mm -hmm. it's here it's not just a campground it's it's beautiful though it's a little town yeah it is it's a it's camping town crazy i really do feel like as we're walking i feel like there should be like a little general store or camp right. store a, a little restaurant yeah sure no it really have, feels like it they sure as hell have a police department in a sense yep because um, they really do keep an eye on things that are happening um same thing with the staff the staff is pretty cool um yeah so if you're if you're if you want to ride bikes you want to hike you want to fish I'm sure we just showed you. And if we haven't, take a look at this clip. These are the fish that are in the pond, but right next to our campsite. And pet Pretty friendly, cool, right? obviously. We have lady, you can bring your pets. Yep. This is a, um, a good one. We like really this. Really good one. Okay, it's top five of the year. That's, there's no question I about agree. that. Only problem is it's so big, you can't consume it all. Yeah. Um, which you, you're, you're left feeling empty. So tomorrow, we're leaving tomorrow, we're leaving a half hour, um, or rather we're driving a half hour from here um, to Massoyet. I'll pronounce that eventually accordingly. Um, but we're leaving here, it's a half hour away. But before we leave, we're gonna give ourselves at least an hour 
to drive the area and see what we could um what we can show you because we actually feel um left out <laughs> you know just the jay barrett loop alone is as big as some of the campgrounds we've shown you this year but what we personally look for that we feel satisfied like this is a good campground it's perfect it's absolutely it has perfect. a little bit of everything that we want you know we normally you know the other campgrounds might have one thing that we really like a scenic hike or water or this has seems to have it all only thing it's missing is look up other than that that you've yeah. got a hundred percent what you're looking for this one's a good one guys wherever you're coming from it's it was worth a little longer drive for us i suggest to make sure you get your butts here this Ready? is a thumbs up big time Restrooms. Here's the yurts that are for rent. They have electric, grills, etc. That was A. And this is B. Really, really cool. Here's a quick peek inside. You have two bunk beds with twins. There's a huge table. There's electric. These things are nice. It's like 32. And the water's right behind you there. A creek that's fed by the pond. Guys, this place is expansive. It's over 12,000 acres. There's over 56 lakes and ponds. Um, it was built in the 1930s by the CCC, obviously. The forest is mainly pine trees. It's the Pine Barns, and uh, it's the third largest in the world, believe it or not. Site 12. Look at these sites, guys. Site 13. Look at this. <laughs> wow. There's a slew of activities to do here, from biking, boating, canoeing, cross-country skiing, fishing, which all the lakes are stocked, and horseback riding, snowmobiling in the winter. But the biking trails and hiking trails are the most impressive thing they have here, if you ask me. I don't even think they know how many miles of bike trails there are. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Really nice sight. Little path that goes down to the pond. Another nice site, uh, 29 in the J section. And if you see there, a way to a nice little beach. Pretty cool. Let's get you over to the charge pond area. There's over 400 campsites here, and there's even equestrian camping, which is in the Sea Loop, located here by Charge Pond. There are showers and washing stations to get those dishes done. There is a dump station. You can rent kayaks. There are no hookups, and the internet is sketchy, but there is phone service. And the same stands true for next week's episode. Take a look. Massasoit State Park in Massachusetts. Mira, I've been watching some TVs and television. And um, something's happening for me inside. <laughs> it's like seven guys. Oh, and there's Happy Lee. Happily. Happily. She's happily waving at you, folk. Say hi to the people, love. <laughs> yep, you're not going to want to miss next week's episode. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next Wednesday at 7 p.m.